Hello everyone, thank you so much and welcome to the St. Louis Four School Virtual College Fair. Thanks for being here. Uh, we have six colleges here today and each college will be presenting for six minutes. If you have any questions, please use the Q&A box to type questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so our panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so please be sure to sign up for more. And all sessions are being recorded and will be available with, within a week at strivescan.com backslash St. Louis uh, for School Fair. And with that, I'll turn it over to our first presenter, Eastern Illinois University. All righty, thank you so much for that, Layla. All righty, I'm going to share my screen. Um, if Right. If you all have added, you will see that I listed um, just the brief website to EIU's majors and minors, um, so you all can just get a better feel uh, for that as well. So, and I'll talk more about that as we get started. So, for those who don't know, my name is Joe Smith. I'm a freshman admissions counselor here at Eastern Illinois University. Uh, my territory is primarily the Southern Illinois and Missouri territory. So. Uh, for those in the St. Louis area, I will be your direct contact for any questions that you may have about the university, your campus life, or anything related and such. Alrighty, so it's a little bit about Eastern. Uh, Eastern originally opened up its doors back in 1895. Um, as you can see here, this building on the seal, uh, Old Main, was the only building on campus that we had back then. Uh, fast forward to 2021, now we are celebrating our 126th anniversary of being uh, here in Charleston, Illinois, the county seat um, in Coles County. So for those coming from St. Louis, we are about just over two hours uh, coming off I-70. So that's, uh, we're not too, too, too hard to find. Uh, so going back to Eastern, just like I said earlier, we're now 126 years strong. Uh, we have expanded our community and our campus since then. Uh, we are now 320 acres of land. This is uh, occupied by um, 11 residence halls, 17 apartment complexes, and 72 buildings that make up campus, including a beautiful campus pond and a well-kept track woods that is facilitated by our cross-country team and sometimes our track team, which I am also a part of. So any student athletes out there, if you want more information about that, we can definitely chop it up further. Um, so a little bit about our majors here. Uh, we've expanded since then for primarily being known as a uh, teacher's college. Uh, so now we have about 90 majors and minors. And kind of like how I mentioned earlier, I've listed our majors, uh, our majors website uh, in the chat box so you all can get a better feel for what majors that we do have to offer here. Uh, I'm excited to announce that we have introduced pre-nursing um, as well as electrical engineering uh, within uh, our, our programs just this past fall, but we have something here for everybody, including psychology, computer information systems, uh, within our business sector, we have marketing, finance, accounting. Um, so we have something here for everybody. So please take, take a look at those websites and please let me know if you have any further questions. So diving into a little bit about the classroom experience and what you can expect here at Eastern. So uh, just to give you a heads up, so 99% of our classes are taught by faculty. So that is a beautiful perk that we have here at Eastern. So you know that your students or students themselves are not being taught by graduate assistants, nor are they uh, more so being taught by teacher's assistants, but they're learning directly from the experts who are enthusiastic and passionate about what they do. Um, and that is further enhanced through our classroom size. So our classes are a little bit smaller here at Eastern. Um, especially when you get uh, up into your specialization. So your class size, you can definitely look at that 14 to 1, 15 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Um, this just allows for, for more access to, to, to your professors and just further, further build those relationships with, with your professors as well. So that way you don't feel like a number in the back of the classroom and they can help you along your journey as well as having um, those, those, those resources as you start your own job search. So not only that, uh, so 94% of our classes have fewer than 40 students. Not that we have any negative uh, um, uh, feelings or attentions towards larger classes or, or lecture halls. There's just not the majority of our, of our class makeup here at, at Eastern. And um, our small class sizes are what professors love about our university and also what students uh, continue to, to uh, brag about when they, do talk, when they do talk about Eastern. So uh, getting a little bit to the statistics and just um, just a little more background info about EIU. 
Uh, for those who don't know, uh, we have been uh, recorded as the number one public university for finding a job, uh, according to Zipia in 2020, which we all know how, how crucial and how important that that is. And uh, this just doesn't speak for, for the cream of the crop, but for the overwhelming majority of our students. So 91% of our undergraduates do one of three things before they graduate. They either secure a full-time position uh, within their profession. If that's not the case, they have plans to attend graduate school or they enlist in the military. So uh, needless to say, that statistic can basically speak for itself as opposed that we have a destination for those students who wanna to come to Eastern and have uh, future aspirations. Speaking for myself, I was able to land my first full-time position in April of just this last May, whenever I graduated in May. So that just goes to show that uh, I, I am included in, in that 91% as well. Um, if you are undecided, that is completely fine. Bobby Kingery and those at uh, Student Services do an excellent job of helping students uh, kind of determine what career paths they see for themselves. Uh, they do a career assessment exam just to kind of uh, hone in on what strengths that, that you have and where you'll be best suited in the professional realm. And then internship opportunities, we have those by the boatload whenever it comes to Eastern. Um, a lot of our programs will offer an internship coordinator uh, to kind of assist students in uh, locating and facilitating those internships as well. Uh, we do require that students complete one before graduation. Uh, but however, uh, doing two or three definitely uh, can give our students that competitive edge. And we have amazing uh, site supervisors that go through all of our previous locations that students have been just to kind of give those experiences back to those up and coming. So uh, opportunity outside the classroom, just to kind of give you guys just a feel for what campus is like. So we have over 200 registered student organizations, and these stem from everything uh, from faith-based to religion, to student government, uh, to intramural sports and championships, uh, just the volunteer work and service. So we have something here for everybody. Um, and just similar to all my colleagues on this call, if you don't, uh, if you're not interested in what we have, you can get you a group of four, become an ambassador, you can start your own. Okay, so that's something that we have here as well. Uh, not only that, but our rec center, primarily one of our most popular places on campus, especially within the first two months of being here. That's when intramural championship season is going around. That's when everybody is back on campus. Like I can't wait to see. Um, and it's just an, it's just an exciting time that uh, we, we do have students here on campus. So uh, kind of piggybacking off of that, uh, going into our study abroad program for those that are interested in traveling, uh, we have over 500 uh, study abroad programs. Majority are faculty led, but we do have some student led um, travel programs as well. Uh, we do have a number of scholarships available, so that way uh, students are able to cover those travel expenses, but uh, also included that the, uh, the tuition does not change if you do want to go on a study abroad trip. So all you have to do is just communicate with uh, your, your uh, internship coordinator or your, uh, or your department chair, just to kind of see what internships are out there and available if you are interested in studying abroad. Um, and then as far as athletics go, uh, we are NCAA division one. So uh, this is the most competitive within collegiate sports. So any student athletes out there that want more information or wanna hopefully get in contact with the coach, uh, like I said before, don't just let me know. Plus I'll include uh, my information in the chat below as well. Uh, so finally, <laughs> Sorry, Joe, we do need to move on to our next presenter. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so we are moving on to uh, Northern Illinois University. I got my camera on, but I can't see myself. Wasn't sure what was happening. Sounds good. You are able to share your screen whenever you're ready. Uh, we can see you. You're you're muted. There we go. There we go. I can't see myself. It's kind of weird. Okay. Um, this facilitator screen. Okay. And uh, I was just gonna speak real quick. I didn't really put together a presentation. Oh, for that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, okay. let me stop my screen then. There you go. There we go, okay. <laughs> now, I'll turn my camera off and then I'll get my six minute timer going for you. Okay, and I might not even use the six minutes. I just wanted to address them directly. Um, cool, okay, so my name is Demarcus Hamilton with Northern Illinois University battling a, a slight cold a cold, you guys, not COVID, a cold. So work with me. 
if my voice may sound a little funny. Um, so I'm with Northern, Northern Illinois University. I'm a regional admissions counselor, and I cover everything from the Chicago area on down to uh, Southern Illinois, Carbondale area, uh, Metro East St. Louis, and then going over to uh, Missouri and Kansas as well. Um, <clears throat> so at NIU, we are actually excited about NIU because it's one of the most fascinating times, if not the most fascinating fun times to apply to NIU right now. Um, we started off uh, back in 1895 as the Northern Illinois State Normal School, where we taught teachers. We graduated 13 teachers and those teachers went on to, you know, teach at other areas. And that's where we flourished into the uh, university that we are today, offering well over 60 different majors, a host of minors and certification programs. <clears throat> Uh, so teaching is still one of our cornerstone programs. Also, we're well known for nursing, engineering, and business, and visual and performing arts. Unbeknownst to a lot of people, that is actually one of our strongest programs in general, uh, visual and performing arts. So if you're interested in that, definitely come check out NIU. Uh, we actually, uh, one of our cool alums is Dan Castellanata. Probably never heard of him, but you have heard of Homer Simpson. And he is the voice of Homer Simpson. He graduated from NIU. Also, if you've heard anything about Sons of Anarchy, that executive producer also attended NIU. So the reason why I say it's the most fun time to check out NIU is because we've restructured a lot of what we do at, uh, um, with regards to admissions and students getting into NIU. Um, <clears throat> we've done away with the $40 application fee. We have done away with the ACT and SAT requirement to send in. Uh, and we've also, uh, recalibrated our chance program. So the cool thing about that is before where some students would have, I've come across students several times in different areas of the state where you got the high GPA and the low ACT scores. I've come across students with 3.6s and um, you know 14 ACT. They didn't get accepted to NIU at all. Well, now those same students not only get accepted to NIU, but they also get scholarship money for NIU. So if you're thinking about coming to NIU, it's, it's not a better time. We have one of the quickest application processes has been told to by prospective students. And so if you're thinking about NIU, uh, go ahead and apply. Again, scholarships automatically for students that have 3.0 and above. If you have less than the 3.0, we still encourage you to apply because uh, there still may be some opportunity for you not only to get accepted in NIU, but also scholarship money on the back end of getting accepted. Uh, we are a D1 school. Um, <clears throat> uh, we participate in the Mid-American Conference. Uh, so that's volleyball, baseball, uh, football, soccer, the whole bit. Um, and we also, I'm, I'm very passionate about our uh, marching band and students that are musicians in general, students that come to NIU and participate in our marching band get an automatic scholarship of $1,000 per year. And that's guaranteed over the course of four years. If you stay on campus, you can get up to $12,000 scholarship money because then we start to reduce your, um, your cost for room and board on campus. So if you're interested in playing in the marching band, then by all means, uh, come check us out. <clears throat> um, NIU, we have about 16,000 undergraduate students and um, about oh, 16,000 students total, about uh, 14,000 undergraduate students. Our student to, teach, uh, student to teach your faculty ratio is about um, 16 to one and our average class size is only 24, which we're very proud of. So. Um, you're gonna get much like what you see at your high school with regards to class sizes. Those have also been kind of cut in half due to COVID. So we've, doing, we've done a hybrid of classes versus asynchronous and synchronous learning, uh, virtual learning. So where we used to have 24 students in the classroom, now it's 12 going on Tuesday, another set of 12 going on Thursday, and then you know hybrid um, virtual learning on like the Friday or something like that. So um, that's what we've done to help mitigate some of the COVID um, concerns. Also from a room and board standpoint, what we've done is given each student their own room. That's what they did this past year. What this fall looks like, we are not sure just yet because COVID is changing by the day, but we have done, um, uh, we have taken special measures and precautions to help mitigate the concern for COVID-19 for the health of our faculty and staff and for the students of, as well. Uh, freshmen must live on campus. So if you're coming to NIU, uh, freshman year, you're going to live on campus. After that, you can do what you want. However, freshmen can bring a car to campus as well. So if that's something you were concerned about, by all means, bring the car up. Uh, 
stick car sticker for parking is about ninety dollars total, so not too bad at all. <clears throat> and then we also have the Husky bus, of course, that takes students throughout our campus and throughout the city. So even if you don't have your own means of transportation, that is an option. Um, looks like I'm running on one minute left. Anything I missed out? Um, uh, a whole host of uh, not only <clears throat> just help in general, but resources dealing with tutoring, math lab, writing lab, career center help, mock interviews. We help with internships. We have an internship fair every year. We also have a job fair every year. If you're in the College of Business, you get an extra job fair and an extra um, um, internship fair because they're doing, they do a lot of their own stuff over their College of Business. So, but it's it's a super cool college to be in along with everything else because um, NIU is just super legit. So, uh, and the last thing I'll close with is what I like about NIU so much is our location because you have the small town atmosphere that you see on tv the college town feel that you get but you also have access to the third largest market in america being chicago illinois so um that would be my reason why i would say um niu kind of stands out hope i got it all in fantastic thank you so much our next presenter is southern illinois university all righty i think we're in here I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Layla, can you confirm if you can or cannot see it? Yes, yep. Okay. Are we good to go? Yes. All right, perfect, let's go. I have my timer. All right, my name is Casey and I am the um, Central Regional Coordinator for the Missouri Metro East area. I am from St. Louis originally, and I am a two-time alum from SIU. Um, I'm just gonna breeze through this presentation. Feel free to leave any questions, and I'm also gonna leave my contact information in the chat for you guys. All right, so here are some fun facts about SIU. I highlight the 13 to one student faculty ratio. We have over 200 programs offered and that is recently including our new Bachelor of Science in Nursing program. We also have joint programs for our College of Business uh, where you are able to get your JD and your MBA as long along with your uh, bachelor's in accountancy as well. And majority of our programs due to the pandemic have been converted online. So you don't necessarily have to move down here to experience um, what SIU has to offer. Um, I highlight the quote in the corner in the top left that says greatness happens here. We invest in our students and we love to see them succeed. And we wanna be a part of that as faculty and staff on their journey. All right, so these are a broad categories of services that we offer here at SIU. You have opportunity to study abroad, to participate in the university honors program. Um, we have a career development center that is open for students as early as their sophomore year to help prepare them for the job market. We have a student multicultural resource center and disability support service center to help support you and encourage you along your journey as you go ahead and proceed to get your education. All right, this is something else that I love to highlight about SIU. We have over 300 registered student RS, registered student organizations, also known as RSOs, and they range in a variety of categories. So um, if you're interested in Greek life, if you're interested in just serving the community in general, we always encourage students to get involved and to get engaged. Uh, we know that college is about getting an education, but you also want to enjoy yourself and enjoy your college experience. You do that by coming out of your comfort zone and making new friends. So um, definitely get involved in an RSO. Uh, we're going to touch a little bit about housing. So we have two main campuses. We have East and West Campus. West Campus is seen here by Campus Lake that is called Thompson Point. And then we have the Towers, which is considered our um, east side of campus. So we also offer students an anytime meal plan now um, due to COVID, and we're going to continue to do that. So basically, anytime you're hungry, you get to eat as long as you have your student ID card and you attend during the hours of operation um, that the dining halls are open. We have two major facilities for dining. That's Lentz and True Blood. And that's listed here. So True Blood recently installed the Mongolian Grill, which is kind of cool. And you, like I said before, you'll have an anytime meal plan. They both are buffet style dining. And we have, um, we, we switch out options for meals around the clock. So uh, that's something that you can also enjoy as a student. If you have any allergies, all you have to do is let one of our chefs know and they will cater something special to your needs um, as you continue um, to come in and dine. All right, we are NCAA Division I. We participate in the Missouri Valley Conference. What you see, um, of course, this is our arena. This is where we host our basketball games and our graduation. 
Um, and all home games are free to students. If they're, if you invite like your parents or your friends, they would only have to pay a door fee of $4, which is fairly cheap. So we're gonna talk about money. So we do have a truth and tuition rate. So meaning whatever, um, whenever you come to SIU, whatever your tuition is initially, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be locked in. All students are now considered in-state. So we don't charge an in-state tuition. I mean, we don't charge an out-of-state tuition price. Uh, we also honor legacy. So if your parents, grandparents, or legal guardians went to SIU um, at any time and they actually graduated and have proof, you were then guaranteed with tuition at half price. 90% uh, of our students receive financial assistance and we award over $10 million in scholarships. So this is just an estimated cover of the budget based on 2020. You see what tuition costs at 30 hours, which is full time, fees, room and board when, when you're living on campus and when you are um, participating in the dining plan. If you choose after your freshman year to not live on campus, that's totally up to you. Um, and you won't be responsible for the room and board fees. So we're just looking at tuition and fees. We're at about 14,000. So these are some of our freshman scholarship opportunities. Um, these are automatically awarded. So you don't have to apply separately for these scholarships. So if you fall in either of the GPA categories, you are able to um, obtain $3,500, $2,500, or $1,500 scholarships for the next four years. And those are automatically renewable as long as you maintain your GPA. These are some of our more competitive opportunities. Um, these require your ACT and your SAT scores. We are test optional, I will highlight that. And if you're interested and you fall in these categories, the Chancellor Scholarship is basically a full ride and the University Excellence Scholarship will grant you $7,500 a year for four years if you're admitted by or before November 30th. If you wait till after November 30th, that price is deducted by $2,000. So go ahead and get your scholarship applications in. We also offer a general scholarship Scholarship app. And this is funded by SIU. Um, I would check with, with whatever your major is to, see, to see if your department offers um, separate scholarships for you uh, every semester or every year so you can continue to fund your education. Um, according to our next steps, you have to complete the online application, either pay the $40 application fee or submit the fee waiver. If you want to go to SIU or if we're one of your top two contenders, go ahead and just email your counselor. They'll submit it to me. I'll be your direct contact as your coordinator. I'll sign it and give it to my processing department, and then that fee will be waived for you. If you want to qualify for our competitive scholarships, send in your official transcripts and your SAT scores. That is six minutes. Boom, I'm so excited I did that. This is my first time. Follow us on social media and I'm done. Awesome, thank you so much. No problem. Um, I, let's see, has Western Illinois University arrived? Okay, then I think we're going, uh, skipping over them and going over to Illinois College. All righty, can we see my screen okay? Yes, I can. Okay, great. Well, thanks for everyone for coming tonight. Um, I wanna to introduce myself. I am Joe Legendre. Um, I am the admissions counselor for Southern Illinois, Southwestern Illinois, um, and Missouri. Um, I represent Illinois College, which is actually a small private liberal arts college located in central Illinois, um, located in Jacksonville, Illinois, which is actually 30 minutes west of the capital of Illinois, which is Springfield. The small college experience is what we're gonna guarantee you here at Illinois College. Um, with a, a student enrollment of roughly 1,100 students, um, an average class size of 17, and student to faculty ratio of 13 to one, you're gonna get the intimate class setting to be able to help build a strong connection in a collaborative work environment. Um, you're gonna have a great opportunity to have hands-on learning in the classroom and to be able to establish a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your professor and your classmates. It allows you to truly graduate ready. The student experience, we have a very diverse population at Illinois College. With over 25 US states representatives, 26 foreign countries, you're gonna really feel immersed in, in culture on our campus. Um, we have students, staff, and faculty from all over the world. Um, we actually even fly the flags of each country represented in our Kirby Learning Center. 28% of our students are students of color, 37% of our students are first generation college students, 38% of our students are from low income families, and 84% of our students live on campus. 
We talk about the ac academic experience. We talk about finding the major, finding your right fit academically um, and your major that you're looking to uh, get your experience at in the rest of your life and the rest of your career. Um, we have over 50 plus majors or pre-professional pathways here at Illinois College. Some of our most popular majors are gonna be education, political science, health sciences or something in a related health science field, computer science and our newly added nursing program, which we also have a full scale um, nursing simulation lab here on campus, that we're very proud of. We talk about life defining experiences. Um, here on campus, um, you're gonna be able to get that hands-on learning opportunity. You're gonna be able to entrench yourself in what you're wanting to do for the rest of your life by internships. All of our students are guaranteed at least one internship during their time at Illinois College. International travel, you'll have an opportunity to take advantage of either one of our breakaway trips, which is usually 10 days to three weeks to learn in places like China, Singal, and Cuba, or an opportunity to do study abroad, which is either a semester long or a year long, um, and it's tied into some type of a major. And you also have hands-on learning opportunities available through student faculty research, with a lot of our students in the science departments take advantage of that. Here at Illinois College, you're gonna have that individualized attention and that individualized support. We have academic support available for all of our students. Uh, we have a TRIO program available for our students along with the Yates program. Um, our TRIO program is academic support, career planning and mentorship opportunities for first-generation college students, first-generation college students at Illinois College, our students whose mother or father or guardians have not attended a four-year institution and completed it. Um, we have academic success mentoring for all of our students. All of our students are guaranteed an academic coach during their time here that they could take advantage of all four years of their, their time at Illinois College or um, during their first year only. Um, they really have the freedom, the liberty, but we strongly encourage that all of our students take advantage of that mentorship opportunity through their academic coach. We have free tutoring available through our Center of Academic Excellence. And along with that, we have career planning available through our, career, or through our Center of Career Readiness. We talk about the student experience. We talk about getting our students out, getting them involved. We have over 80 clubs or organizations and it was hit on earlier, but at Illinois College, you have an opportunity if there's not a club or organization that fits your likes and your needs and your wants, get a bunch of friends together, form a constitution and guess what? You have an opportunity to create your lasting legacy on campus by forming an organization and, and letting it be an active one on campus. Um, some of the student experience and some of the student clubs or organizations that we have available would be the CSI, the Center of, Invol or the Center of Student Involvement, um, the Student Senate, the Black Student Union, Straits and Gays for Equality, Speech and Debate Team, the Best Buddies Program, Model United Nations, Competition Dance Team, Music Ensembles, Nuestra Casa, FCA, different types of Greek life opportunities, accounting club, national academic fraternities, esports with the League of Legends, the Rambler, IC environmentalists, music ensembles, theater work in the college FFA. Athletics, we're an NCAA Division III athletic, uh, intercollegiate athletic program um, here at the college. We have over 21 available. Um, men's sports, we have basketball, cross country, football, baseball, golf, soccer, swimming, track and field. Women's sports, we have basketball, cross country, golf, soccer, football, swimming, tennis, track and field, and volleyball. Co-ed, we actually have esports, cheer, and dance available for our students as well. We compete in the Division III, um, the NCAA Division III, and we also have something, if you're not involved in um, athletics, to get involved as a student in the student section through our blue group, which is like a student section. Um, we also have intramural opportunities available for all of our students um, during different seasons of the year. Scholarships. We have a few scholarships that are available for all of our students um, through being admitted based off of merit. Um, we have the Academic Distinction Scholarship, which is a merit-based, uh, ranges from 19 to 20,000. Uh, we have an Excellence in Education Scholarship that ranges from 14 to 19,000. We have the True Blue Scholarship that ranges from 12 to 13,000. We also have two full tuition scholarships available through the Trustee Scholarship in the AeroSTEM for students who major in the STEM field. Uh, we have a location-based award. Um, based off of where you live, you probably receive either the Gateway Award or um, one of the Heritage Scholarships, which would be um, $2,000. Um, you have the Ready for Success Award, um, which is available if you visit and file your FAFSA, which would be another additional $2,000. And then we also have speech and debate, music, and esports scholarships that range from $500,000. The value, why I see? Well, you get guaranteed internships, research, or study abroad opportunities. Textbooks are included in the cost of tuition, and we have a finish and forward guarantee with generous scholarships, financial aid offers and programs, uh, as well as academic coaching for all of our new students. 
next step would be get your application out, um, get us your official transcript, get us your personal statement, and test scores are optional. Here's my contact information. If you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out for doing in-person visits. So we'd love to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Our final presenter is University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. All right, hopefully everyone can see my screen. Thumbs up if you can, if you have that option. Yes, we can. Okay, awesome, fantastic. All right, well, welcome everyone. Thanks for sticking with us. Um, so I am from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. My name is Hannah Steinbrenner. I'm a counselor that oversees the states of Missouri and Kansas, but then also I work on campus coordinating our campus visit programs, which we hope to welcome you back to campus to tour and visit this fall. So that's kind of what our timeline looks like right now. Um, in terms of you know Illinois and who we are, um, so we are definitely a large or a big 10 division one school located right in East Central Illinois. So about two and a half hours kind of northeast of St. Louis. So right nestled between Chicago, St. Louis and Indianapolis here in central Illinois. Um, so as you can see on the screen, we very much fall under that big school category. So there's about 34,000 undergraduates here studying with us. The number inches closer to 50,000 if you include our graduate student population. Um, so that kind of boils down to about 7,500 new students in each incoming freshman class. But um, quite a few quite a bit bigger than your high school class, that's okay. We have lots of support to kind of help you not only make that transition, but then to support you throughout your full time here. Um, so it's a very, you know, we are in East Central Illinois, but it's a very global diverse student body population. So we're represented by students from all 50 states and over hundred countries here at Illinois. So very much a global diverse student body um, that we have right here on our campus. In terms of programs and majors, um, we kind of run the gamut of what's offered here. And so I do have a few links I'll share with you and I'll put those in the chat now, um, including my contact information and all the links that I have on my slides here. Um, but what you're seeing on the screen now are various academic colleges and communities that we have here. And that go.illinois.edu slash majors link is a great one to check out. It's gonna give you a snapshot about what each major is, um, but also what are the post-graduation success opportunities? Where do we see our students going after graduation? What careers are they pursuing? Are they pursuing a master's degree at what schools or whatever, you know, higher education degree they're pursuing? Um, so it's a really great place to get us and so truly what each major means here at Illinois. Um, a new program we do have that I like to highlight is our School of Information Sciences. So we have had the, the number one graduate range program in information sciences for the past um, few decades. And so we're very excited, you know, just recently to be able to offer that to our undergraduate students as well. So if you have, you know, that interest in computer science coding, but also more within, you know, the social sciences, economics, sociology, et cetera, wanting to bridge together a lot of those disciplines into one program, um, it could be a great program for you to explore and study. But if you aren't decided, if you're still exploring, that's fine too. There's no need for you to know exactly this minute what it is you'd like to do. You can always start with us in our Division of General Studies, where you can be a student um, for up to two years. You can't graduate with a degree in General Studies, um, but it gives you time to explore all of the majors offered at Illinois, all the minors, all your opportunities before picking your exact major. Um, and even if you do so, you're still gonna graduate on time within four years. So all of our degree programs are designed to be completed within that four year time frame. But that major link is the best way to explore all the majors we have offered across the various academic colleges you're seeing on your screen. Okay. There we go. All right. So very much we, we realize and re understand that, you know, your your degree and your your program is only part of your college experience. There's a lot of ways you're going to be able to get involved here on our campus. You know, we are a large campus and large campuses do provide a lot of opportunities. So we are a research one institution. And so nearly every professor on our campus is conducting research. So if you have that interest, even as a freshman, there's ways to get involved. And much of the research being done is interdisciplinary, bringing together students from across all of campus us into the various research um, programs and studies and very often their paid experiences as well. So lots of experience to get good hands-on research experience, but also by studying abroad or taking part in an in internship at some point throughout your career here. We'll talk about it in a minute, but we have thousands of employers on our campus each and every year. And that has continued in a virtual setting throughout COVID-19 as well um, to help connect students for different jobs and internship opportunities. 
Um, so with that, even in, even in addition to all of that, there's over 1800 different student groups and organizations. So if you think it exists, it likely does. And it's very easy for you to get involved um, on campus. We host what we call Quad Day, which happens the Sunday before classes begin in the fall, where you can go and explore. There's generally about six to 700 different of those organizations scattered all across the main part of campus. Um, obviously with COVID-19 that's been changed. And so we hope to bring at least a portion of those back to have that event in the fall and continue returning to normalcy after that for you to explore and get to know all that's offered on campus. So the minute you're here, you can hit the ground running with not only your classes, but getting involved outside of the classroom as well. Okay. So we in our office are here to support you through the transition to campus and we have over 30 different resource centers that are going to support you throughout your time, but also really help you um, into that next step, whatever that means for you after graduation. We have one career center that serves the entire campus and a career center within each and every academic college that is fantastic at connecting you with with people within your specific industry to pursue those jobs post-graduation. So again, that Align Success link that's in the chat, if you wanna know exactly where students are going after graduation, what, what jobs they're holding, their starting salaries, if they're going to graduate school, what graduate programs or professional schools they're enrolling in, you can see all of that information broken down, not only by college, but also major on that Align Success link. So a great resource for you to know exactly where your Illinois degree could take you. As as you see, we, we host thousands of employers throughout the school year um, on our campus and have, you know, two different virtual job boards for you to apply for jobs and internships throughout the entire year here. Um, a good motto I've heard from our career center this year many times is that your, your first interview should not actually be your first interview. Um, and so there's many career services within that too. And I see Layla on the screen, so I know we're, I'm cutting close on my time, but I do just want to highlight one thing. We are on the Common App for next year, so just you can look us up um, on the Common App next year, and our test optional policy is continuing um, for the next two years as well. But if you have questions, my email's in the chat, and please don't hesitate to reach out. Well, thank you so much. We have um, a few minutes left here at the end. So what I'm going to do is ask all of our reps to uh, turn their camera back on and we'll just do a quick round robin. And the question that I'd love for you all to answer very um, briefly is what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll go in presentation order. So um, if Eastern wants to kick us off. All right, thank you for that. For um, your initial college search, just for one, um, I do recognize this is a, a different year for all of these senior class right now. So I definitely feel for all the seniors out there. So well, my best advice would be to just um, take in all considerations. Don't narrow down your search. Uh, just keep an open mind into institutions that you want to visit. Uh, not only that, but uh, go out and uh, visit those in institutions as well. I mean, you can only gather so much information through looking through a screen as we've all been accustomed to during this past year. So go out and see those institutions and figure out what feels like home for you because that's where it's gonna eventually be for the next four years. Is, uh, okay, Northern Illinois next? Otherwise we can jump to uh, Southern, oh, nope, go ahead. I'm sorry, as far as, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got kids over here too. What was the question? I apologize. Uh, what advice would you give someone going through the college search? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So uh, a couple things. Uh, first of all, apply early. A lot of uh, schools have deadlines for scholarships, uh, some of them December 1st, sometimes earlier, depending on what school you're looking at, what state you're looking at. So I always advise everybody, even if you just think you may want to go to that school, just go ahead and apply. Uh, that way you're well within the scholarship deadline. Uh, I've run across a lot of seniors in times past where it'd be March, April, and I'm like, have you applied to any schools? And they're like, oh, you know, man, I'm weighing my options. I'm like, dude, it's April. You haven't applied or gotten accepted. You don't have any options. So create options by applying early enough, get accepted, get whatever scholarship money you got coming, and then come January, February, you can make your decision. Uh, but apply early. Another thing I'd say is um, instead of just being caught up in majors, I talk to students that are like just caught up in books and classes and majors, that's secondary. I tell students, 
First, you want to figure out 10 years from now, you got to wake up in the morning at six o'clock on a Monday. You got to go somewhere, find out where you want that place to be, then reverse engineer it and that uh, determine what you want to go to school for. And that'll also help inform your college decision uh, based on the university that you want to go to. Um, so I would say those are the two most important things. And lastly, um, when you get into school, all of our all, all of these schools are phenomenal institutions. Um, very familiar with all of them, actually. Um, the thing is, all of them cost, you know, twenty, twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars ish, right? You pay to come to school, but there's even though you pay twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year, there's hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of resources at each school. So make sure you squeeze out all the resources you can from each school, and so that you get more out of us than we get out of you. Um, I would say it's okay to not know what you want to be when you grow up the first day you walk onto campus. Um, I was the type A student that was like, I have to major in political science because I want to be a lawyer. That totally changed because I'm currently not a lawyer. So um, it's okay to not know what you want to do just yet. Um, and to just try out, you know, as you go to class, as you get a feel for your campus, go ahead and um, Gauge it that way and make sure that you're doing something that you're passionate about. If you know that, you know, you don't really have a passion for kids and you don't like it, don't do it for the money. Do it because you enjoy, you know, being in front of students and things like that. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I would say uh, visit. I mean, my colleague, Joe, uh, great name, um, hit on that earlier, um, visit, that, that's one of the most important things, you know, if you have an idea of, you know, a couple schools that you're really interested in, um, but you haven't seen the campus, you don't have an idea if you're actually interested. Um, it's about the people um, at a lot of colleges, it's about the interactions at a lot of colleges that you're going to visit. Um, it's, you know, where you're going to call your, your, what you're going to call home for the next three years. Um, that's one of the pieces of advice I'll give you. Another thing, um, make sure you pay attention to deadlines um, and utilize your admissions counsel. Um, that's one of the most, uh, this time of year especially, I don't know if uh, my colleagues are all dealing with the same situation, but a lot of students are afraid to open up and utilize us because they're, we're getting lost in the noise. Um, we're here for you. We're here to be an advocate for you. We're here to um, support you through your academic journey. Um, with that being said, utilize us for anything that you're going to need us for. Um, we're here to help you out. Um, when we tell you about deadlines, we're doing that out of best interest for you um, to be able to help you um, gain success when you move on to um, whatever college you end up choosing. But yeah, utilize your admissions counselors and visit, visit, visit. That's what I would say would probably be my biggest piece of advice. All right, on top of visit, um, I would also add just to add something different. Um, start writing your college essays now. If you're a junior and you have a list already kind of started of where you think you're going to apply, um, I know our application essay, along with many others, um, if an essay is required, is no secret. It's posted online on admission website. So open a Word document over the summer. Um, start writing them and drafting them now because it's going to be by far what takes you the most time when you um, start to complete your college applications. And once your senior year starts, it's it's going to be dead sprint until till graduation. So utilize your time over the summer, start writing your college essays now for a little bit of application specific advice. Fantastic. Thank you all for those uh, great pieces of advice. And uh, thank you everyone for joining us tonight. Uh, when, this window is when this window closes, there'll be a link to a very quick four question survey. We appreciate any pieces of feedback that you can give back to us. Uh, there are more sessions, so please keep signing up for more. And again, this session and many others will be available within about a week at strivescan.com backslash St. Louis for school fair, or sorry, just St. Louis for school. And with that, have a wonderful night, everyone. <laughs>